Hi ladies and gentlemen, good morning or good evening to everyone. Today I am going to share some mainframe DB2 interview questions which are asked in GenPact. First question is why do we use withhold? Withhold option in the cursor and what is the use of the update of in the cursor? Okay, so we are going to know this. Uh, so why we use the withhold option? Uh, because while we are updating the data by using the cursor if we issue a commit after updating of some records the cursor will be automatically closed in order to keep the cursor open even if we issue commit we must declare the cursor using the withhold option okay uh, for example for example I have one table employee table and it has one crore record okay it has one crore record and if I am going to submit my job my job will be abandoned okay because region available to update region available or temporary space available temporary space available or allocated is less means uh, is less to update all the record all the one crore record in one attempt so it is not possible to update the uh, update or save o, uh, all the record uh, all the one crore record like we have updated all the one crore record and then we are saving it so it is not possible to update the all the one one crore record at once so for that we have one scenario uh, first of all we are break all the record like uh, we we first read the first record to 10 lakh record and then we issue our commit one okay and like from the 10 lakh plus first record then we are going to read it to till the 20 lakh record and then we are going to issue commits to like this we uh, we are going to read uh, 20 lakh first record so here uh, we are going to read till the 30 lakh and then we are going to issue the commit third here and so on and in the last like we are going to read 19 lakh first first record uh, till the 100 lakh or 1 crore record then here we issue the commit 10 okay and here what happened like whenever we issue the commit our cursor will be closed here and so like we are opening uh, we are again opening the cursor so so our pointer will again set at the first position means all at the first record so to avoid that we have used the withhold option withhold option uh, withhold option so it you can understand it by name like we are holding the address okay <laughs> holding the address of the record where our where our commit is performed okay where our commit is performed and also we are keeping the cursor open okay so uh, first we are uh, holding the address after like each commit and also opening also keeping the cursor open so like we we are here declaring the employee cursor with using the withhold option okay and here is the query we are fetching the employee id employee name department id salary from employee table and also updating the salary column here we have used the update of so it means we are going to update the salary column or you can say salary field we are going to update the salary field of the employee table and in the procedure division we have opened the employee cursor here then we are we are processing all the record all the record of the employee table until the SQL code trees to the hundred or all the record have been read successfully so let's see this para here 
like uh, i have written this para and in this process in this para i am reading i am fetching the record like i am fetching the employee cursor here into the host variable employee id employee name and uh, department id salary so these all are the host variable into which i am storing the data from the uh, table db2 table and after this i am checking the sql code like if there is uh, there is record fetch or not like zero means we have fetch one record and if we see the 100 it means all the record have been fetched successfully so there is no record left and when we receive the any other so it means there are some problem to fetching the uh, record from the table like we have fetched the one record and uh, then we read the this para update para and in this para we are going to update the uh, salary here by 1000 amount and also incrementing the ws count here and then we are executing our query to update the uh, salary of the employee table and we are using here current of employee cursor it means we are going to update the current record whatever has been read okay and after this like it 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 means uh, our record is updated successfully then we are checking the commit para and in the commit para we are seeing if we if we, if if we are reading the like fifth record or not like uh, we hear what happen we are updating like 1 to 5 uh, record then 6 uh, to 10 record then 11 to uh, uh, 15 record so we are updating like this like we have first we have read the first record so it will check no it is first so what it will do it will not do commit then it then we will read the second record so it will not do commit then it will check th third record it will not do commit and then fourth and then fifth at the fifth fifth uh, record it will issue the commit means uh, our all the five records have been saved successfully into the table and then it it will again uh, set the ws count to 0 and after that it will read the uh, sixth record here it will it will it will fetch here sixth record and then it will update the here uh, sixth record salary and after that like it will it will check the commit para it will like see the uh, sixth record here and here it will check like uh, it will check the here sixth record in sixth record means uh, first it will there will be ws count first and then like similarly like uh, at the seventh record there will be two ws count and then at the eighth record it will be three and at the ninth it will be four and and at the tenth record it will be uh five ws count so it will issue the it will it will issue the uh, commit here and then it will read again for, uh, read uh, read the 11th record so all the processing will go like this so so it is useful means with the hold come with the hold option we use when we are issuing the commit in between the record so it is useful to keep the cursor open and there is a next question write one debitive query to fetch the department id with counts only which are available more than two times like i have employee id employee name department id and salary so interviewer asking to me to fetch only those department id which came here more than two times so how can you write the like uh, if you see the it's when i have ran the query so it result should be like this like if you see here d1 d1 came here uh, three times so it has written three here if you see here d5 so d5 came here seven time so it has written seven time if you check here d9 if you will check the d9 so it came one time so it will not write this and uh, 
if you check the d2 so it is also came one time so it will not write into this because we are giving the condition more than two time so how will you write the query uh, let's write to me let's write uh, here like i have uh, i have like i have select like i am going to pass the select department id department id and count star count star s here i will write the count because we if we write this what happen here we will see the count in the header okay and we are fetching from which table employee table from employee and and there is one group by you have i think heard this group by close and what will here we write here we will write the uh, department id department id and so if you write till this you will see all the department id with their count but here he has given uh, some condition like uh, we should have the uh, department on id who are came two times so for that we have having close having close so if we here will check count count department id then we will write here more than two time so this is the final query which will return the this result and next question is how will you write the db2 where care 50 comma 0 into the cobol pick close so if you have seen this db2 where care 50 comma 0 actually i have not seen like 50 comma 0 i have seen here like des decimal in my life i have seen decimal 50 comma 0 but i have not seen where where care so this question is wrong so here should it should be where care where care 50 only and then we can write it pick x of 50 so it is the wrong wrong format into the db2 it should be decimal here okay and next question is uh, how many bytes stored by the pick 904 comb so it store the two bytes thank you guys that's all from my side please like the video and subscribe the channel if you have any doubt or any question please write that down in the below comment box